Hey guys, this is Tashina from Logical Harmony. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm back with another mail time video. I know we put one of these up semi recently, but it's been quite a while since I filmed one. If you watch our vlog channel, we've done a couple like in the car mail times. And now it's time for another episode of unboxing things in the car. I wanted to actually sit down and do a real one here. So this is where I just open packages I've received from cruelty-free brands, whether it's stuff in PR that's being sent to me or things that I have ordered. I just think it's fun for you guys to see what's new, what's coming out, and to leave a comment and let me know what you wanna see in upcoming content. I definitely, definitely really appreciate when you guys do that. It helps me so much to figure out what to you know, put in videos, to put on Instagram, things like that. Super, super helpful. Let's get right into it though. <laughs> This is from Volition, Volition. So they're cruelty free, they're sold at Sephora now. That's pretty recent. It's always awesome to see new cruelty free brands at Sephora. And on their website, they list on each product page what's vegan, which is super helpful. Ooh, warning, contents may be addictive. This is their Prismatic Luminizing Shield SPF 50. Ooh, is this a primer? I mean, it's a sunscreen, but is it a primer too? Let's see. Flawless pearl finish for enviable radiance. Yeah, perfect skin alone or under makeup, light neutral scent. I think I'll do a demo video of this, like a first impressions, like what I did with the Super Goop one. I wanna see that pearlescence though. Okay, this packaging, that is really pretty. Very, very pretty. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, okay. It's very thin, very milky. Okay, that is dewy. Do you see that? My two hands in comparison to each other. It doesn't really smell like sunscreen either. It feels really slinky. It kind of feels like a face oil, actually. All right, I'm definitely gonna do a first impressions video on this because I am curious how it works with makeup. If you guys have used it, comment, let me know. If you have any of their other products, let me know which ones are your favorite. I wanna try more from them. And thank you so much to Volition for sending this. Got a package from Sigma. You guys know I love Sigma. They have some really great brushes. They've sent me a lot of their new releases over the past year, and so I've done a lot of first impressions videos on them. I think this might be a new release too, so I'm really excited. Ooh, it is. This is their 3D HD blender. Where is this little black thing up here? Weird. So it's like their version of a beauty blender mixed with their 3D HD brushes, which are all really interesting shapes. I love a bunch of them. There are a few I'm not like the biggest fan of. This is weird. Okay, I'm definitely gonna do a video on this too because I am really intrigued. The shape is just so unique. I've never seen a sponge that's this shape. It feels really soft actually. It reminds me of the Eco Tools sponge act from how it feels. Definitely intrigued. Thank you so much Sigma for sending this sponge. That was really nice of you guys. AG Hair sent me a package. They are a cruelty-free hair care brand and their new line is vegan. So they sent me the whole thing and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So it is all around, I love this, natural plant-based wellness for your hair. I really, really love when brands advertise that things are vegan. I've never used AG Hair before. I've heard a lot about them. They've been on the cruelty-free brand list for a really long time. I just wanted to check them out. So when they offered to send some stuff, I was like, yes, please, please send that. So this is their Boost Apple Cider Vinegar Conditioner, Balance Apple Cider Vinegar Sulfate Free Shampoo. So it's, oh, this is like a texture and volume paste. It's called Dry Lift. That smells really good. It smells like citrusy and clean. Remedy Apple Cider Vinegar Leave-On Mist. So I'm assuming this is like a leave-on conditioner or treatment for your ends. The Rose Hip Balm. This looks like it's really pretty in the package actually. Look at that. That's so pretty. It's a hair dry lotion. Interesting. And then this is their Cloud Air Light Volumizing Mousse. I'm really excited to try this because I have baby fine hair. Mousse works really well in my hair. And let me take that back. Some mousses work really well in my hair and some are absolutely terrible and disgusting and oily. So I'm really, really excited to try this one out. They were telling me it is probably gonna work real well in my hair because it is from natural products. It's not gonna be super duper heavy. It's not full of synthetics. I don't know, I'm really excited to try it out. It looks like it does have really good ingredients. Thank you so much to AG Hair for sending this over. I'm really excited to try everything. I'll definitely be doing like an update video or some updates on Instagram to let you guys know how I'm liking things. I got this coffee from Stumptown at Grocery Outlet. It's sparkling original cold brew. It's cold brew, 
cane sugar and lemon juice. It's basically like coffee soda. I don't know how I feel about it. It's very sweet. How much was it? I think it was like 99 cents. So another? it was super cheap. Would you buy another? I don't know. I don't know if I would buy another. The lemon flavor is a little odd. I probably would. If I was like out and about and I really wanted coffee, I'd actually, I would probably buy this because it was cheaper, at least at grocery outlet, than buying coffee at like Starbucks. I don't know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> sorry. Package from Cover FX. You guys know, you know my feelings about Cover FX. They're cruelty free, everything's vegan. You can get them at Sephora, get them at Ulta, get them at Beauty Bay, so many places. I was hoping this is what would be in there. This is their new setting sprays. I love their setting sprays. I use their illuminating one and they came out with their high performance setting spray. I don't know why I shook that. I don't know why I thought that would be different. But the high performance says that it is good for 24 hours, which I'm curious about. And then this is their dewy finish setting spray, which is different from their illuminating one. I'm not really sure how, but it's different. Wait, yeah, so they, and they have their matte and their illuminating, which I already have. I love setting sprays. I love Cover FX. I love Cover FX setting sprays. This is such a great package. I'm excited to try everything. Thank you so much, Cover FX. You guys are so sweet and so kind. You're so good to me. Also, I wanna add, it's not in this video, but I did recently get some clothing from a clothing brand and I ordered some stuff as well. So we're gonna be doing a couple of fashion content videos, which I'm really excited. It's something different, a little bit nerve wracking for that reason, but I'm excited to share them with you guys. So keep an eye out for those. While I'm here, Elf sent me some stuff too. They sent me their new chromatic eyeshadow palettes. So they sent Bird of Paradise, if I can get this open which full disclosure, I've used this and I really like it. It's really, really pretty. If you like warm tones, you're gonna love this one. I love the mix of mattes and shimmers. Very, very pretty. I wanna do a video with this as an eye look. They also sent their Posh Peacock palette. Let me get this open. Oh my gosh. I tried this as well and it's cool toned and cool tones don't really work on me. I tr gave it a try, but this color just blended out to like a muddy brown on my skin. Cool tones just don't work for me. So I'm really bummed because it's so pretty. It's so pretty in the pants. Just, it, it wasn't for me. So I'm probably gonna donate this to Project Beauty Share or see if a friend wants it since I only used it once. But I really appreciate Elf sending everything. I love when I get to try new things. They sent their prismatic lip glosses too. This one is Amethyst. I have swatches on Instagram. And they sent the Rose Quartz, which I love the Rose Quartz one. It's in my purse right now. These are so freaking pretty. And then they also sent their Daily Defense Makeup Mist, which I'm excited to try. It's part of the Beauty Shield line, which I believe is exclusive to Target. And it's just a nice mist. You guys know I love facial mists. So thank you so much to Elf. I really appreciate it. Got a package from Kaya Naturals. I know that they've launched some new stuff, so I'm hoping that is what's in here. Justin took a peek. I have not seen what's in here though. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Some of their new scents of the Takasumi Detox deodorant. This is Sakura Blossom. Let me smell these. This smells amazing. It's very, very light. It's just a really light floral scent. If you want something that's similar to like an unscented, that may be a great option for you. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, Nordic Frost. I'm always intrigued by anything. This smells like mint, like menthol. And eucalyptus. I like that too. Look at those cute stickers though. This one is black oak and bourbon. Ooh, that's very like woodsy but yet a little bit floral. Very interesting. Very, very different from a natural deodorant company. Ooh, 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 ooh. These are their new dry shampoos. So these come out, it says June 1st. So there's one for blondes and one for brunettes. It's one you put in before you go to sleep, you sleep in it, which is my preferred method to use dry shampoo. It works so much better that way. I am really excited to use these. Ooh, it has charcoal in it. I cannot wait to use these. I'll definitely be using these. I'll definitely post an Instagram review. I'm excited. Comment and let me know if you're a dry shampoo junkie too, because I can't be the only one. Thank you so much, Kaya Naturals. I'm so excited about all this new stuff. Thank you for sharing it with me. Thank you. I just realized this outside packaging. You are sassy, Kaya Naturals. This one's open, so I don't want to mm. throw it at you. 
This one is from Milani. Full disclosure, I did already open this because I wanted to pull out anything that might not be vegan, but I don't remember exactly what's in here other than it's some of their new foiled stuff, which I'm so excited to have sent it to me. I'm gonna have a vegan Milani list up on Logical Harmony probably before this video goes out. They were so nice to provide me with one and I'm looking at these, I remember how excited I am. So first, they're in these little bags, which is freaking adorable. Very, very cute. So these are their Hypnotic Lights Powder Highlights. You guys know how I feel about highlights. You saw my declutter video of highlighters. So many of you, well, look, I shouldn't say so many. I got quite a few comments from people about how little I decluttered. It's because I freaking love highlights. But I looked and these, I believe, are all vegan. So I'm really excited about it. They've just got such pretty shades. I'm gonna swatch one of these because I want to see what the formula is like. So this one is Luster Light. Can you look at that? Do you guys see that? I hope that's picking up. That is so pretty. Ooh, they feel so soft and buttery. Dang. Okay, in the monitor, this is not picking up the same as it is in real life, so I hope it is in the video. That is freaking gorgeous, though. I am really excited about these. I'm gonna swatch, let's swatch this purple one. I should also add, I haven't had coffee in like a week. I've been drinking matcha instead. I'm definitely feeling it like pulsing through my veins. I think you guys can probably tell. So this shade is Beaming Light. Ooh, that'd be pretty with this eyeshadow. Let's try that out. I'm just gonna swap. Are you kidding me, Milani? That is so pretty. I cannot wait to use these. I am so excited. I love, oh, I love highlighters. These feel so nice. I can't wait to use them. They sent over some of their, I believe these are the lip toppers as well. Yeah, holographic lip toppers. Some of the shades I was really excited about turned out to not be vegan, but Several of them are. Like I said, I'll have a full list on Logical Harmony. A lot of times when I say I'm gonna post swatches on Instagram, to be real, it's because I can't get the packaging open right here, right now. And then they sent some of their eye toppers as well, which these also look so pretty. I cannot wait to use these. They're all duo crumbs, like this one. Again, Luster Light, that's the one that keeps calling my name. Let's try and get this one open. All right, so it's like a nice doe foot applicator. Milani is not playing around, you guys. Look at that. I cannot wait to use this. Let's try this one. This one's pretty. They're all pretty. They're all so pretty, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, these are ridiculous. I'm definitely gonna post swatches of these on Instagram, the ones that I have. And again, I will have that vegan product list up for you guys. See, that is like not really budging either. There we go, nice blendable. Oh, so pretty. I just wanna put that on right now. I kinda wish I wasn't wearing so many sparkly things on my eyes already. Definitely gonna use those in an upcoming video. If you have any of this stuff, comment, let me know your favorite shade. Thank you so much, Milani. This was so kind of you. I'm I'm really, really excited about basically everything. I feel like this was a solid mail time. Not that I feel like others are lacking, but I feel like this contained a lot of stuff that I'm really excited to try. Really excited, excited. Are you <laughs> I feel like this contained a lot of stuff that I'm really excited to try and really excited to share with you guys. I kind of talked about this on Instagram, but lately I've been feeling kind of like in a slump and not really creative or inspired with makeup. And I've been wanting to try new things because I think that it'll make me feel more inspired. And I definitely feel that way, like looking at these. They're so much fun and they're something so different for me. So I'm really, really excited to try everything out. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you next time.